So this one's a difficult one for me because I really do like the concept. I also like the gameplay. It's not the most exciting game in the world, but it's fun. I'm talking about a game called Lake. Now, as a Nintendo Switch user, we are the last to get it. This game has been released on multiple platforms and has done fairly well. But the main reason why I have an issue with it is because of technical reasons. Although, before we get into that, please hit that like, subscribe button, the bell notifications, all that stuff. That really helps me out. And, uh, you know, if you like the content, please check out other videos. Anyway, let's get back to Lake. In this game, we travel back to 1986. Not in the game, just that's when the game takes place. It'd be cool if there was time travel. Anyway, you play as a software developer, engineer, uh, by the name of Meredith. And essentially, your whole life post high school has just been work, work, work. You're working on developing this really innovative software that's going to be launched on a lot of computers, and it's like a multi-million dollar deal. Although, with this big deal, this big project, this life really drags you down. And you're offered a welcome vacation to go back to your quiet, little peaceful lakeside town that you grew up in. But it does come with the catch, and that is you have to fill in for your father. You see, your dad is a mail carrier, and he needs a much-needed vacation as well. So that's where you step in. You're going to take over for him for two weeks. And while your parents are out, you get to take their home. And you also just get to take on the job, meet new people, reconnect with old people. And all of this really comes as like a slice of life sort of game. There's nothing too crazy. And for the most part, the gameplay has you delivering mail and interacting with individuals with a lot of dialogue options that make you feel like you have control of the game. And to an extent, you really do. Your choices predict the outcome and also just the ending of the game in general. And while a lot of your social interactions aren't, let's say, as drama-filled or climactic as uh, Life is Strange or some Telltale games, it still is pretty intriguing, and you definitely have these interactions where you have to make some pretty difficult decisions. You have to maybe say something that you don't want to say, or just outright expose some good friends. Now again, none of this gets like too crazy. There's no time stopping like in Life is Strange or uh, you know any magical powers. No, it's just this idea of a normal life with a lot of human interaction. And that might seem boring, but I'm telling you that from my experience, the interactions were fun. They were short. They weren't as deep as, like I said, like a Telltale game or one of those. And that was fine, honestly, because I didn't need it to be. It does kind of sell itself as this, like, relaxing type game. And to that extent, it is, yet also is quite engaging. The gameplay loop also can be a little tedious, but also pretty fun. The only reason why I say tedious is because of the character's movement. It's incredibly slow. If you take that aside, though, it's actually really fun being a mail carrier, especially because the mapping system is very accessible. Like, it, it really helps you out. I was worried about it, to be honest. When I first started, I was like, how am I going to find where to deliver this stuff? But at the lower left-hand corner... There is this really accessible map that basically tells you your location is you're like in front of a home. It'll give you the address of the home. And honestly, I had a lot of fun just being a mail carrier and delivering mail. Didn't think that would be cool, but it actually is pretty fun. And one of the big reasons why is because it gives you something else to play off of. Yeah, there's a lot of conversations. There's a lot of interacting with other people and even dating and fighting and making up with people and, and all sorts of just stuff like that. Plus a few more scandalous things happen as well. But in between that and in between the decision making and the talking, you're able to just kind of relax a little bit and go deliver mail as that being your main job, as well as like meeting new people, as well as I think telling one of the more underlying themes of the death of small towns in America. As this really becomes apparent as you're playing the game and you're interacting with a lot of the people, especially the young people, or the people who are trying to start a business in this sort of sleepy town. I also have to say that the voice acting is really good. Like it's not too over the top, but it has enough depth and complexity for you to really believe the story and to believe the characters. Now my big issue with this game is graphics and performance. Now, the graphics aren't bad, 
But when you do turn it on, you realize that this game could already use some work. And that's at the best. There's a little bit of like frame rate chugginess, some lag to it. It's not awful and doesn't really ruin anything, but you can just feel a disconnect between the game and the hardware. Like, you can tell it's struggling. And then you really get into the game as you're delivering mail and you're going through this town, driving your mail van around the lake, and then, subsequently, the game just starts to, like, completely decompose in front of you. And I'm just saying, like, pixel by pixel by pixel, this game starts to look like a grainy, smeary Minecraft. And then it'll pop out of it. It's the weirdest thing. I hope I get this on video because this does happen like all the time. And you will go to just this pixelated mess that at times is unplayable as you're trying to drive through the forest and uh, find like where to drop a package off. Everything gets very pixelated and laggy and even starts to hurt your eyes, almost give you a headache just to keep playing. And then it'll pop back out and everything looks good again or decent. And, and that's my main issue is just how horrible this game performs. And as I've been playing games like Hogwarts Legacy, I understand that the Switch can do a lot more. That game has far more assets and even though it has its own issues, it's not nearly as bad as this. And as I've combed through reviews on different platforms, I've also noticed that this is the worst that it looks or the worst that it performs. So I know that this team has the capacity to make it better. I did reach out to the publisher and ask them if there was a plan for an update or a patch. Something that is just so much needed with this game. I, I can't express how much it's needed. And I did receive a reply. It was rather lukewarm, if I'm being honest, as I said, there will likely be patches. Now, I know that that is promising, and that is promising, but it's not enough for me to say, hey... Go ahead and get it. They're going to patch it up. I don't know. Uh, I, I would hope that I would have gotten a response as, well, they're currently working on one or they're aware of the issues and they'll be heading into the lab to go fix it soon. Uh, anything of that nature would have given me a little bit more hope than a there will likely be patches. So if I'm being honest at the moment, I have to give this game a four out of ten. Because it is still playable. I, I, I did say at times it becomes almost unplayable. Almost unplayable. It's still playable. I got through it. And I really did enjoy a lot of the game. I hope there's more games like this. I just wish it were fixed. And if it was fixed. If it was patched up. Just to a little bit. Like honestly just to stop like that pixelization. The degrading of the, the graphics. And, and just your visual context. Then I think I would give it about a 7 out of 10. But right now, like I said, I have to give it the score of being subpar, a 4 out of 10. The game is $19.99, and I think if it were fixed and running properly, it'd be worth that. But as it sits now, no, nah, it's definitely not worth it. Anyway, though, let me know what your thoughts are. Have you played Lake before? Are you excited about this one? Have you heard of it? Anything and everything down in the comment section. It's much appreciated. I love each and every one of y'all. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.